And now at five, the widow of a man killed when flames engulfed his Tesla has filed a lawsuit against the company. That lawsuit alleges the battery in Dr. Omar Awan's car was the reason he did not survive the crash that day. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Davie where the car went up in flames. Dave, Ted. Rudy Van Elliott, that lawsuit centers on the battery as well as the door handle design of that Tesla. Now, it happened right back here. Uh, this is on Flamingo, just south of 595, and you can still see the burn marks over there on that tree. We had a great life. We had a, an amazing life together. Dr. Liliana Awan is talking about her life with her husband, Dr. Omar Awan. The two had five children, ages 6 through 17. Omar was killed last February when his Tesla S crashed and caught on fire on Flamingo Road in Davie. Police say he was traveling up to 75 miles per hour. As you can imagine, it's been tough on his wife and children. He's not going to be at their weddings or at their graduation or at their firstborn child. That will never happen. I am it for my kids. They have not, nothing, no one else. The family says Omar should have survived. He received no injuries to speak of, no broken bones, no facial injuries, nothing like that. Attorney Stuart Grossman filed a lawsuit on behalf of the family. He says Omar died from smoke inhalation after the lithium-ion battery caught on fire. He alleges Omar could not get out of the car because the door handle design. An off-duty officer saw the crash and tried to help immediately. I'm sure the doctor was trying from the inside to get out. He couldn't. And from the outside, the handles did not emerge. They stayed within the body itself, so no one could open the doors. And that's unacceptable. The suit alleges that the Tesla S is a death trap, that Awan's car was defective and unreasonably dangerous, citing door locks were defective and the battery was inherently unstable and subject to explosion and spontaneous fire. I want Tesla to recognize the faults of the car and improve the faults of the car and the safety to prevent people from dying and leaving behind families. And we reached out to Tesla, but we have not heard back from them. However, when this crash initially happened, they did release a statement noting that uh, the investigation into speed, saying that high-speed collisions can result in fire in any type of vehicle, not just electric cars. Live in Davie, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.